that. Think that DP. I will say the aggressiveness of the link. It's all about who does manage to find that positioning. It is a little, it's maybe a little bit more aggressive here on the side of Geek Fam. Just a tad bit because of the repositioning they have. We'll see how much they can get out so far. I don't expect Chidori to be fully zoned out here. Like even at level 1, this should be fairly safer to do such just farming. We'll see if that stays true. You have Skem no, dropping low attention. and does fall to Bombi. Not having the best of times to be expected for Primal Beast up against Zeus. What have we here? It's a little bit rough. Good old Bobby. They will manage to find Bombi. That's a little bit surprising. Was that just an arrow? Yeah, that's a sick arrow from Skem. Sorry for missing that one. Leading to some good build-up onto that Dusa early on. Wondering if... Oh, the Blast Off does connect on Tanatsumi. The Spear as well. Time Walk is... Oh, Thunder God's wrath. Done. More than enough. Takes it across the map. Good read. Watching his teammates across. Some early... Neon more than happy. Again, solo lane coming out here for Jidori. No early tower pressure just yet. They will try start to make that play with Bob rotating in. Onslaught forward. They've got the polarized. Not going to pop it yet. The, wand the stick charge is more than enough from Jidori for now. The bomb's blasting off from Bombi. And they might be able to find Bob. Blast off connects. Bob. Sign of Geek Fam. They are giving Cox as much room as possible here. Bro. Throw your Cox. Is going to be spotted out, though, with a rotation from Ken and Castaway. And the slows are there to run down the damage from Ken. But again, all this movement cross for Neon. You know, they're moving away from the one here on the map that really needs to farm, which is Natsumi. Taking the gate across. They do commit the Exo now. They're trying to go onto Chidori, but here comes the Lasso onto Cox. Has more than enough healing on hand. Moonlight Shadow is up. Jing trying to break the TPs in. Chrono out, but there's the Stone Gaze from Chidori. Oh, Natsumi still ends up looking. Jinx Curry is down. Castaway's still alive. The Ghost will take care of it. Here comes Bob with a Pulverize out onto Ken. Could be a massive kill if they find it. Instead, that Heavenly Jump again, cracking them off. JG would reunite stall. And it's a one for one so far. Ken barely escaping with his life. So is Skem. So Cox can start to oh find some openings like they do onto JG to toss back from Jing with that blink instant trample on top the lasso there though Bob gonna be fine Arena does break that off but they will find JG it looks like in the end the damage is there Bob amplify damage still up Bombi trying to find an opener and they will be able to find Bob amplify damage does not do enough Stone Gaze out Natsumi needs to look away does have Chrono ready. Not gonna be able to gap close though. Candy still finds something Killing with his exo being dropped. Scam actually snipes Bombi. Did not expect that. He will find it. No problems here. Top lane. Do you manage to TP in time? Jink with the avalanche toss back onto Ken. Pulverize on top. Zeus gone. Can they keep that chase going? Chrono is ready. Just needs to find the angle. The slows. Not Sumi. Still chasing for it. Will BKB. But the Stone Gaze arrow will connect perfectly, though, from Scam and Chidori. Not safe for this world. The Arena, though, to try and save. They're buying some space out for Dedusa. They blow up Bombi. Everyone's stuck in the middle, but Chidori still stuck. Not enough in the mana pool. Geek Fam does clean up. Stone Gaze as well was nice, but. Natsumi, confident in the Chrono, confident to just do damage and let Scam's arrow connect. Let's pay off. 7 to 12, still very even game so far, but with the Aegis on Geek Fam's side. They've got a safety net here, 4 minutes still up. Lasso out, Castaway wants to clear that Aegis ASAP. Time walk out though, Bob with a save. What an onslaught. With a blade mail, tagging through a lot up front, Natsumi. Playing on Dangerous Edge, JG, set the fall, and Will. Can they find Ken? All these slows on Atsumi. Making it hard to find the angle. Blast off as well on Atsumi. But the bash has come in. This arm with a taser. Atsumi will time lap, time walk forward. And we'll find Bombi toss out onto Ken. No bashes for Natsumi. Time walk again, but we'll go backwards instead of forwards. 
Not that crazy on Geek Fam. 7 to 14. As it will get speared back. Pulled back onto Bob as well. Arrow does not connect. Here comes Jing with a save. Avalanche toss back. Arena right in the middle. Can still gone. Huge blast off from Bombi. But to no avail. Bob still set to fall. Exo from Cox. Keeping alive in the middle of all of this. Chrono still ready on Natsumi. Can he find a big one on the sides? Looking for it. Looking for the angle. The damage onto Natsumi is too much. And he's out of mana for the Chrono. Will lose the one life. Cox set to lose a life as well. But no mana on Chidori. Natsumi. Chrono. Catches too. Does get the spear back. Wasting some precious time for the damage. Needs the chain batches. Needs so much more. Needs to find Chidori to make this work. With the Chrono gone. No, it doesn't find it. JG. That spear saving lives. Natsumi still trying for the chase. Bashing up Ken instead, but the four staff there to save. Jing does clean up Chidori in the side while that happens. JG spearing back. Natsumi! Oh! Time walk back. Will still fall. Four for. Ken? Caught out. Does manage to jump away. Great arena out from JG's. Pins down Skem. We'll find one. Jing gonna use to safety for now. Gonna be able to run away. Bob jumping in the middle. Lasso is committed onto him. Not durable enough for this, but the Eternal Shroud is keeping him alive for a lot longer. Still will fall. One by one they come in. Here comes Natsumi. Getting a couple of lucky bashes. BKB still ready. Spear back from JG is perfect though. Pinning down Natsumi. Still fine. Chrono still ready. Is this really the point you want to Chrono? We'll catch two. Going for the softer targets. Instead of that Dusa. Kendo doing so much damage in the back. Mana already gone from Natsumi here. Stone Gaze as well. Natsumi. I mean, he has no mana. He can't time walk. This, this, this defusal. Ruining the face is void of Natsumi. Oh, uh, there's nothing Cox can really do here. Cox might even die trying to help. No. Scan comes in with that Guardian Greaves. It's more than enough. Get the Lotus usages out. Cox dropping low. Spirit Siphon's already. Cox still set to fall with a couple of right clicks and will. And soon he's zipping in and, in and out of there. And be fine. Marginal lead. Chidori, this, this deuce is growing massive. Butterfly coming in now. Now the defusal's not going to feel great. For Natsumi. They will isolate JG, force the BKB usage out. Breath cancel off the blinks. Gonna keep finding JG. Avalanche toss. BKB does fade. Castaway blinks in on the avalanche. Chrono onto two. Natsumi wants to find a simple kill. Its arrow will connect onto Castaway as well. He'll find a double for his trouble. It's gonna be it for now. Geek fam. Moonlight's still up. Bob. Bobby wants to jump the back line. Has that blink. These two solutions just hit so hard. So much pressure on Jing and Bob, it feels like. Find us. Ooh, Thunder Gods will reveal that position. They, they saw it. They saw the strike so close. Smoke breaks on Atsumi. Bob not able to get pul pulverized off, does get speared up. And they come in, force this fight. Arena forced out only onto Bob. Break is there. Bob is still a little bit tanky up front. Is slowly starting to melt in the back line, though. They will find. The supports lasso out onto Natsumi while the BKB runs, but they will find Castaway. Castaway for Bob so far. Can they find more Cox? No Exo. Light Shadow to back off. BKBs were expended. Chrono in 15. Bombi does fall. Jing with a snipe. Oh! Natsumi poking in and out, trying to dissuade him. Good push back from Jing with a psychic headband, but we'll still get chip away here. They'll try to clean up. Yult's the stall for a time. They've got the Chrono back up. They've got the damage for Ken. They might have the damage for Chidori now as well with the defusal. But the miss chances. The spear keeps Chidori alive. They've got the silence off. No mana. No snake. And this is it. Chidori finally falls. Full team wipe. Geek fam on top. No buyback. With a butterfly being picked up. A little bit of that pierce. Get started on the rush, rush number two, with the Aegis and the Cheese. Only the they still have their tier one top at 36 minutes in. Still, Jing 
Trying to scout in Moonlight Shadow does save, but Wind Waker is there to drag him out. Spear back does connect. JG trying to isolate Bob. Jing still manages to get a good avalanche off. Pulverize onto Ken. They'll blow up Jing. They're gonna lose Ken. Lasso back from Castaway. Does not do enough. Castaway's gone. The, sto the gaze. Oh, great chrono out from Natsumi to trap them. There's no HP left on this Dusa. No buyback still on Chidori. Buyback from the two. Castaway TP'd up. Is going to be a dieback if they can connect. And the Onslaught should. The GG is called. Three down. Neon understands what's going to happen here. A very hard fought game number one. Very well played to Geek. Holding out. Finding that. Hmm. It is the scam NP. But it is very costly on the mana. So. Cock should be fine for a few levels. Maybe level 3 is also a good spike here for the side of Neon if they do manage to get a good position from Castaway. Mercy Going for a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Bob will find first blood on Candice early. And Metamorphosis can ruin your day. Bombi just going for the pulse. Just trying to get some EXP out. Up top, a little bit of trades as well. Flat Cannon can make it pretty annoying for Cox. Radiant's level 2 up, just so I'm just going to have to wait for level 3. Scam does clear out JG while that happens. Again... Again, there is that threat of the glimpse back in the rocket barrage. It's fairly strong coming out there from Chidori. Courier, Jing, can you snipe it? No, the Thunder Strike. Can you snipe the Courier again? Yes! Does deliver the goods, but it's fine. Cox, Spirit Siphoning up. They get the Avalanche as well. Toss up. Skem, TP's into the back. Blocks cast away for a little bit. It does get the glimpse back, which on C is pretty, it's pretty fine. Free ticket. And again... Every lane looking good here for the side of Geek Fam. Natsumi having free time. Cox doing pretty well. Bob crushing this matchup up against Ken. Speaking of, Diabolic Edict is up. And Ken just getting run down. Jesus, Bob. Jing spotting out Ken. Teleportation, teleportation. Scam, scam, scam finds it. No tree, but they will toss back into Jing, uh, into Bob. And Bob finds another 3-0 on this Lesh, allowed to shove him onto mid. He should be finding more than Cox. Bob, Arcane Rune up. Guess what? It's time to push. Onto the mid tier 1. Not going to take long with the Diabolic Edict and Arcane Rune. And this is just gone. No defense. Avalanche out. We'll toss Castaway back as well. Skin lining up to ensure and Castaway will fall. Skin will find it this time around. This is a disaster for Neon. And you're going to be sitting back and farming Ken. You're going to be sitting back and farming on uh, CDR. Well, he's going to be dying in that case, but you've got to farm now. Exorcist him out. Here goes another fast push. Look at this neat party trick. They drag in Bombi. Cox giving chase. Cox getting caught. Cox still looking for more. Cox will find it. Jing steals it from Cox. And Jing apologizes. This is why Jing was removed. <laughs> Stealing Cox kills. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. JG gets found. Exo coming off in a short time. They find Chidori. They've got the toss back. They find Chidori. And Chidori with a call down trying to stall for time. Spirit Siphon's there. Cox giving the suck. Cox kills. 10 to 1. Oh, not 10 0. Oh, Jing. Alamna. Alamna Jing! God's Rebuke. It's on Static Storm, so don't have to worry all about, about all of that. They do get the glimpse back onto Scam with a Static Storm. Split Earth is not going to connect, and it'll find another. Looks like Cox will be the call. Static Storm out as well. Bushback does not connect, but they've thrown everything out, and Cox is gone. Mass TP is coming in. Natsumi wants to be able to find something. Glimpse back, though, onto Natsumi, and I guess that's fine. He's just going to go back farming. Lightning lost there, Jink. Still no blink. Doesn't want to die like this. Is being jumped. The arena does connect and the spear is out as well. Geek fam coming in one by one. The punishment is there. Scam getting glimpsed back again. Is going to be gone as well. So that's actually the blink of JG. And the side of Geek fam. Streaming in, streaming in a little bit too much. One by one. Punishment is so big. 
Get the silence off. The call down is there from Chidori trying to do dam damage in front. Bob is melting. Bob's still alive. Does manage to find that kill, but Ken will clean up. Fox now onto Ken. No refraction. Has the melt. Wants to deny. Not gonna find it. Radiance top tower is under attack. Two for one. Twelve to seven. Castaway will TP home. See who finds that angle again. A JG a pressure to get that blink initiation with the arena. Tier one is there to protect JG. Instantly found by Jing. Arena's not great. The left back is there. They don't manage to get the spear. Call down coming in from Chidori with a BKB reveal. They managed to trap Cox in the side in that static storm. But Chidori didn't find Jing yet. We'll find Jing in the end, but does die. And the rest of Neon trapped up. Could not follow through. The static storm doesn't do enough. And Ken. Poor Ken is just gone. Bob finds two. Didn't even have to pop the BKB. Scam will fall to Bombi, but Natsumi is on the chase. Can they find this little pesky squirrel? Bombi? We'll have the bushwhack up. Lots of trees to play with here. We'll find it. Bobby. Still looking. Bombi. Still there. Ah, oh, Bob finds it. Yep, yep, yep. Bob will take it. Six side of Geek Fam. 7k up. And this, this gyrocopter needs the Ags. After the Ags, we need more. Natsumi stuck in the middle of everything. Static Storm committed. Doesn't have a way of sundering. Natsumi caught out. Really good ward from Neon to spot that opportunity. Right by where the tier one is. No one ever rewards there. Still Avalanche toss out from Jing. Finds Ken. Can Bob take care of this? The damage from Ken is skyrocketing. It's not enough to glimpse back. Oh, Bob will still fall after popping the BKB. Cox. Still manages to clean up Castaway. Speared up, but this DP is just too tanky. We'll go instead for the Exo into Roshan. Geek fam, first Rosh of the game. Should be able to find it. Neon did get the scan. They could try. JG could look for that Blink Arena. Natsumi's not even joining up for this, so it's not that fast for Rosh. Even with the Exo. Here comes the group up. JG. This could be the play. This could be the opening. And ah, uh, the smoke does pop. KG does come in with the arena, but the BKBs fly on. Trying to find that Aegis. Static Storm will connect onto Cox. Bob, they're going to give this Aegis away. No, the bash from Oshan. Where is it? Bob, did you pick it up? No, JG got it. Bob! Couldn't find it. The loose gem. Neon. Ah, uh, JG loses it ASAP, but it doesn't matter. And they will smoke on the mid lane instead. This could be big. It could be Ken. He's not just Ken. Oh, Chidori shows up as well. This is bigger. Toss back. They've got the damage. BKB popped by Chidori, but he's just gone. Your desolation and the world. Deleted by Bob. BKB does you no favors. Glimpse back onto Jing with a static storm. But this is just a tiny support. Is this worth it? Arena out from JG does not connect. BKBs are popped on. We'll find that hit and run. Glimpse back onto Cox, but he's very dribble. He still has that BKB as well. 20 to 15. Geek fam will go back and reset. What's Bob gonna go for next? Going for the blink. Love that. Some fall through aggression. Invis out and Jing. Avalanche does connect. Ken tossed back. Is gone. Going greedy for that. Castaway now. Gets the glimpse back onto Jing. Cox. Just gonna go for the siege. They still have Exo. Not gonna need to pop it. Backdoor is true. Jing still manages to find a blink out. Bombi isolated. Silent stop. Chase down. Jing will find it with the tree troll. And mid tier 2 is gone. Geek fam. Cleaning up here. And they do spot with a trap. Silence is out. Jing cannot gap close. Instead, JG is the one to find this. Jing still gets a toss, but he's alone and he's gone. Ob's word gone as well. This play top. Castaway ready with a glimpse back. JG ready with a rear angle for the arena spear, and they'll find it. Static Storm as well. That's a lot of commitment for the support. Skeb will fall. Could have been a little bit worse. That went well. Oh. Trying to catch, don't manage to. They do get the toss back, but it's a little bit of a mess right now. Here comes Bob with the Bloodstone. Gets the BKB off, and Castaway should fall. Ken? Still stuck up here. Blinks are a little bit late. Bob does manage to blink away. 
Dyer's well, bottom BKB is getting so much vision out. Scam. Dyer's Scouting forward. Oh, the avalanche toss the vision. But the trap silence does cut Jing off. Chidori, the BKB, Natsumi. Go to BKB as well, but it is starting to drop low. Bob, Bloodstone is there. Gets the Sunder off. Bob still dropping low. The chase is on. The damage is there from JG. Natsumi doesn't really have output. Really not much to speak of. Cox didn't pop Exo this entire fight. Just dies. And Arena traps Natsumi. No Sunder. No damage. What the hell is happening? Ah, scam to go down as well. That's going to make it a full team wipe if Bombi manages to seal the deal. Which looks like he should be able to. Yep, gets a lucky proc and a shot. That's the full team wipe. No, nope, there's no ward there, scam. No ward. Uh, they do manage to get the avalanche toss up onto the big one. That is Chidori. Do they have the damage? BKB's being popped on. Can they melt Chidori in that BKB? It looks like they can. Backline scam. Trying to melt. They do get the static storm off with Castaway, but should fall. Look at the damage coming out there from Ken. Still not enough onto Cox. Scam will fall in the back line, but that's a two for one. Roshan in a few seconds. Geek fam, you can't give this one away to Neon. Neon, they smoke up. They know Rosh is coming. They actually know Rosh is there. And you guys do too on Geek. Hog your side of the map. No vision to watch the smoke break though, but they know someone's coming in. Scam, drop your ward. Oh, they've got the sentry down. Oh, they should find Scam. Doesn't even get the ult off. Gets deleted instantly with Jim. What the hell is this? Get held back. Glimpse back on Atsumi. BKB pop. Buy back out on Jing. Can they take this follow-up fight? Sunder out onto JG. Should be able to find that Mars kill. Can they find more? Bob melting in front. The output is huge. But no, the backup from Natsumi is enough to clean up. Bombi now will fall as well. And Ken bails out in the nick of time. Roshan is available. For the love of God, Geek Fam, go. Gonna be able to find it. Roshan, no problem for Natsumi. Secondary life now available. Butterfly coming out next if the damage is gonna be there. They do manage to find Ken up top. They do manage to run down a little bit. And now you're stuck in a bad spot for Neon. 9k lead coming out from Geek Fam. Buybacks are still available. But the high ground is a threat. Tier 2's last one should melt here to Natsumi as well. And that's the BKB down on Bobby. But the high ground stage still begins. Metamorphs is still ready here for Natsumi. But the high ground death with a call down. Oh my god. Natsumi forced the Sunder to stay alive. Avalanche. No toss back from Jing. Yields out. Prevent the damage. Glimpse back though. Jing caught in the middle. They all get entangled by the NP ult with the Ags. No buyback from Jing. He did buy back earlier, so they hold out. Sumi TP's home. It's Bob against the world. Not exactly the spot he wants to be in. Does get Shish Kebab down. Pulled back up. No BKB. Bloodstone's up, but he will melt. Cox now forced a TP. Oh my lord. Ne Moving forward, Smoke Scam could be the victim. They will land. JG finds the arena only onto one, and it's only onto Scam, and they will kill off him. Straight up. Forced to BKB TP away, though. Cast away. I'm gonna force staff out. Not gonna make it. They find the two supports. That does cost BKB. That does cost Exo. But only for Scam. You're happy with us on Geek. This should lead to a little bit of a high ground pressure point. Bye back. Temporary vulnerability. Wave clear coming out from the call down is huge though. We're gonna be able to siege nonetheless. Fort fight again to stall this progress. He managed to hurricane pike out. Ken toss back. Jing finds it. He finds Ken. The side of Vice is out as well. Can they save Jing? Still manages to survive. Buy back and castaway. They know the static storm's coming in. BKBs are down. Natsumi has no dodge. Pulled back in with a glimpse. And Natsumi has the satanic, but not able to pop it. The buyback pays dividends. No buyback for Natsumi. No buyback for Cox. Haste. Roshan, we'll see in 20 seconds. They cancel the TP of Jing. He's going to have a blink in a second. The glimpse back again. Castaway lining up for his team. Good God. If this is a fast Roshan for 
He will kill off Skim. Gets caught in the side. But this splits the fight up. Jing gets the toss back. They find Chidori isolated in the center. Couldn't pop the Satanic. Is gone. Buyback forced out. Need to fight around this roast. JG Arena's already down. Bob keeping the chase up. And they will kill off more. Buybacks out from the supports. Jing comes back in. They didn't find anything else. Castaway still has the open. Cox coming in so far forward. There goes that static storm with the Ags. Natsumi gets clipped. Not able to sunder. This is... Oh my god. Bob. Viking all by himself. Will fall. Buyback's coming in. They need to get something done. They need to find this fight. Sunder ready on Natsumi. Can't find the diebacks in anyone. No, Natsumi. He's the one to drop low. Cox already gone. Natsumi can't even get off the Sunder. The chain stunts. Sunder. Yules. Sunder. Something. Anyone. No. Natsumi's gone. With the he just died back. Oh my god. Neon's done it. This is over. This is done. This is done. Call it. Call it. Pack it in. What the hell happened here? What the hell happened? How did it get to this point where you're dealing with Disruptor Ags, man? Again, props to Neon. They're playing insanely well. This is gone. This is down mid. This is over. This is divine for Ken. Geek fam. Will be forced into the game tree. Big props to Neon. The GG's called. <laughs> What's that? And I like seeing this coming out. I think level 3 is going to be the big spike, although they come in. They've got the tag team up. Spirit Siphon already onto Castaway. Just a couple of right clicks. One more. more. And we'll find it for Cox. Cox, off to a good start. Snipes a courier as well from Chidori. Why not? Sage Mask and Mango gone from Ch Chidori. And again, the issue for the Bristleback here is mana spam. Already out of mana. We'll use the stick charges. And it's a tango at the very least from Castaway to regen, but good tone already for Geek. They do manage to snipe an Atsumi, and again, that combination is just straightforward. Bushwhack into the hoof stop. You've got the magic damage to deal with it. Scam can't really stop. A little bit surprised. Isn't a great time for the Sven. We'll get the Storm Hammer off Bombi, but the block still comes in on the camp scam. So much damage from the Acorn shot. Gets another use of a Frostbite. Not going to be able to find Bombi. I mean, this burst damage with the level 2 double edge is massive. Scam coming in again. Bushwhack again. Double edge will find that kill. But no, the bounce from Bombi will take care of it. Bob down mid. Overextending as well. And Ken cleans up. So, this start for Geek Fam. Ah, it's a lot worse. This time that has to come out from Cox. Cox has to pull himself out there. Put himself out there. And hit that early level 6. Get a push going. See if they can find that. Top. Bushwhack again. And Natsumi's gone. It's just this combination. Bushwhack. Double edge. Hoof stomp. Scam can't stop it. But the CM is not achieving to get lucky. It is the arcane rune for Ken instead. So Bob gets nothing. Traps are there. Bushwhack again. This aggression from Neon is not something Geek Fam can match right now. And Neon... Course correcting hard from the last. And straight into the Ags Rush for Chidori as well. This is going to be nice tag team already. Up, XO up. Shards to entrap. Stampede is there. No snowball just yet. Frostbite on. And Chidori. He is so tanky. That is not enough from Cox. He loses way more than does damage there. Maybe they can find Bombi. Now you're just showing off. Instead, Bob is the one to be taken down on mid with all the. Uh, I'm gonna try for a team fight here. So great. Ken could be a nice kill if they find him. Instead, they'll see Castaway first. Lift back to slow down. Snowball. Will connect with the Storm Hammer, and we Cox will find it. So with the ghosts. Shard does entrap Bombi. Bushwhack the stall. Bombi still set to fall, and Bob will find it. Some recovery coming out from Geek Fam. Some important kills to find. Link Mel plus a couple of goose stacks makes an easy target. Cox, though. Not the easiest. 
I'll get caught and blown up by Ken nonetheless. Your death was a secret I Nice pickups here for the side of Neon. They do isolate JG on Geek's end. Stampede is there. Guess what? You can't really stop this. Bob gets thrown into his death. Double kill. And Jing brings them in for the kill. Do you manage to get the hoop stomp off onto Cox? Maybe they find Chidori here. The damage is overwhelming from Natsumi, but the Sultan spell and Castaway is fine. It's just too much. The slow is being applied. Can they still find Chidori? Do you get the punch up? But not going to be able to keep that chase. Nice entrapment. But Natsumi's already gone. Bob trying to find a kill. No, he's melting. Can they find JG? They will. Wish back though. still connect though. Ag's finally up for Chidori. He's going to turn here. Does not find the quilt spray that he'd want. Bushwhack does connect onto Cox. Bombi again being a massive nuisance here in the back line. Blink out from JG. Snowball out. They will find Bombi. It's just a pesky squirrel. They don't even find that. Eventually they do. The Shiva's reaches. They'll lose Jing. They've got the damage to deal with JG. Natsumi will clean up. Buyback forced out. They will find the supports. And Geek Fam hit and run. Do back off in the nick of time. That is two for two, support and core for two supports from Geek. Again, Natsumi might present himself as a valid target. Warcry is there. And he does manage to slash the trap as it presents itself. Another trap to connect though. Stomp out from JG, no save. Snowball, right in time from Jing. But is this enough? It doesn't feel like it all to blink out. Natsumi's fine. Cox will sacrifice along with Jing though. So you save your spin, but you lose two. You won't find even more with Scam falling as well. On to the Tormentor they go. Easy peasy for Neon so far. 10k up. 17 to 6. Ages to pick up here for Chidori. A little bit surprising considering I don't think Chidori is ever going to die here. The collapse coming in from Geek. Smoke out. Trying to find. Smoke broken by Chidori. Stampede out to try and disengage Bombi, but the front line, Chidori, gripping Natsumi apart. What the hell? 11 quilt stacks. Scam gonna be next to go if he's not careful. Stacks are piling up. They might find the first life, but this is gonna cost them a lot of HP. They do manage to clear out Castaway. Chidori, first life will go. Can they find the next? No Stampede out. JG would jump in. They blow down Bob. Cox. Trying to kill off JG, will find it. Freezing field coming out from Skem does help provide some damage. Chidori facing forward, will fall eventually a triple for Ke for Cox. Ken, trying for more, will find one. Natsumi, forced the man fight. No, Natsumi! No, Natsumi! Twice. Bob. Stampede. Trying to chase in the rear. Chidori. They want Bob. He has a bloodstone. Oh, he's melting. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, disgusting. It's a thousand damage from quills. Scam just f melts like paper. Like rice paper. And they find, looks like, Neon expects this. Get the jump forward from JG. Chidori Mansion get the bristle back off. And they will get the control onto Cox. He is melting. The disarm is there, though. Cox still alive. They will look for the snowball ahead onto Bombi. It's a little bit too quick with a stampede, but the punch does come out. Fight splintered into two sides. Natsumi kiting around on JG. Will be able to find that centaur. Can they find more? Chase from Chidori is there what you're doing on is that DP, and awesome. they'll find the kill buyback as well on JG. And Jing. Not long for this world. Does have a snowball to stall out. See if you can find a blink angle. We'll blink onto the high ground. And we'll be able to TP off. Quill? No, no, no. Not quite there. Okay, start finding it. Bob. Very far out. Might might find a solo kill onto Bombi. It's just gonna TP. Why would you TP? You killed the equivalent of the enemy team. Twice. He had to kind of try to make a play. That's why and TP just 
you're dead. Nonetheless, maybe figuring out he was right outside Vish. Can they find the angle? They've shown us that they can handle Chidori at great cost, but he's manageable. But they don't want to jump Chidori first, of course. Dyer's bottom tower is in trouble. And fight me. Do they have a choice? Moving forward. Castaway could break that smoke under traps. They see them instantly. The smoke does not connect. Chidori comes in. We'll find Jing with a silence. Jing can't do anything but die. Natsumi tried to TP home and it's just gonna. Just gonna fall. Double kill. Mm. The radio smoke just does not work. They have the vision, they don't play with it. It's not your now the high ground oh, yeah, begins. God strength. They find Chidori, but they're hitting the back. You don't have break. You can't kill him. A loose scam off the back. Natsumi set to fall. No buyback. Geek fam. Torn apart by Neon. And Neon, after what looked like a terrible game one, they call it on Geek. Neon will be moving on to the upper bracket finals. And they make it work. They're going to be able to play up against Talon Esports. And unfortunately for the side of Geek, they're going to have to play through the lower bracket. Not the easiest spot to find yourself in. Just so close, but... So far this time around in game number two, I mean... It must be heartbreaking looking at, get, at that game too, seeing what happened there.